Next at 10, getting a look at our weather headlines now. There have been multiple confirmed tornadoes in western Wisconsin. One of them, the biggest so far, was in Toma yesterday. The National Weather Service says it was on the ground for more than 35 minutes. Two others were also confirmed. Our meteorologist Dana Fulton now with a closer look at those. Dana? Uh, we had storm reports coming up all across the area. Wind and hail, and again, those confirmed tornadoes on the ground. As we, we look at our storm reports from yesterday, a little closer look at where those tornadoes were at just south of Toma. Again, that track there going for about 30 minutes, almost 21 miles south of Toma, moving northeast. We had tree damage there, significant damage to structures, and peak winds close to 115 miles per hour. There were also two EF1s on the ground just outside of West Lima and then also near Mauston. Again, significant damage to, to trees and then some structural damage at well, as well. Peak mile, wind speeds close to 100 miles per hour. We had those straight line wind damage reports in Eastern Dane County and Jefferson and Dodge counties. The National Weather Service did send survey teams there and they did not see evidence of a tornado. It was confirmed as straight line wind damage in those counties uh, due to the nature of how the debris was blown. On top of the wind reports, we also had heavy rainfall. Parts of Jefferson County and Dodge County picking up almost five inches of rain yesterday. Areas in Columbia County a little closer to two and a half. The northern portion of Madison at about two and a half. And the same goes near Prairie du Sac and Sauk City and outside of Lone Rock.